Listen, advisories will be most displeased. Learn from your losses, kiss my ring, fall to your knees. It's your girl, Lady Shakespeare, was good. Childhood alumni's own. Bred in the city of the Y, Baltimore, Maryland, and officially raised here in York City, York, Pennsylvania. 717 and 215, everybody put your hands sky high. Let's go. Oh. It's your girl, Lady Shakespeare, I'm gonna go in. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What got me started in music, I would have to say um, watching Yo MTV Raps and my favorite music video by Naughty by Nature, Hip Hop Parade, and OPP. You know, I used to watch it. My sister, Nicole, would just play it on TV while she's cleaning up the room and blast it, blast it up. And um, our mother is screaming and hollering, telling us to turn it down when we turn it up more. And we'd be dancing, having our snapbacks to the back, acting all hip hop and shit, trying to act like them. You know, I grew up listening to reggae music as well. Bob Marley and the Whalers, um, Barris Hammond, um, Marcia Griffiths. And because I'm West Indian, my father's from the islands of the Bahamas, and my mother is from Baltimore, Maryland. Um, what kind of made me want to take it serious was, I like to say when I was like 15, that's when I just moved here to York City in 2006. And right when I turned 16 that year, to, in October, I just like kept writing and writing and then that next year, that following year, 2007, my house broke, um, my house burned down March 10th, 2007, which is also my older deceased brother's birthday, Dante, and that really took effect on me because one, my mother and I, we nearly lost our life, and two, my book was destroyed, so I felt suicidal, I just wanted to like, you know, just cut in and say, fuck life, until my cousin was like, you know what, if you feel like this, and put your like anger and hatred of the situation into poetry, into song. So I started that in high school, where I set I just turned 17. And around 2009, when I graduated high school, you know, I just kept going in. I felt like I wanted to quit. Every time I wanted to quit, my best friend, who was also like my older sister, her name is Daisy. What's up, mama? Um, she, every time I felt like I wanted to quit, she go like, like, bitch, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, you good at this shit. Why the hell you wanna quit? Like, you use this to go on with your music. Don't ever stop. Here I go, very bilingual. Speak four languages. Sometimes I reflect upon or I listen to, like, to get me in the zone. I would say Jay Z, absolutely. Jay Z, you know, it's the rock, BK. You know, I love Brooklyn. Shout out to them. Um, I also say Wiz Khalifa. He gets me in the zone. Who else? Um, Tyler the Creator. Um, Childish Gambino, a, a Tripod Quest, Q-Tip, Fight Dog, Ali Shahi, Muhammad, and Jabari, they, they get me in the zone. Like, I just listen to them and I just like get in that zone, especially Mr. Aubrey Drake Graham, AKA Drake, and he gets me in the zone as well. So I just keep going in, like listen, you know, have the headphones in my head, pop in my head, and the next thing you know, boom, I'm all hyped up. I ain't even need sugar to get hyped up, so I'm all hyped up in the zone ready to go in on the booth or on my performances as well. I have a performance in Pittsburgh, July 29th at the Coast to Coast Mixtape Mixers Tour. They have them in each city at like different dates. So they have one in Pittsburgh and they approved me. So I made my deposit and your girl got in. Also, I have a performance coming up August 18th in Harrisburg called so Harrisburg Supports Harrisburg Music Festival. Also, me and my boy, my brother, Thelonious of Childhood Alumni. You know, we gonna kill it, we go in. Shout out to Childhood Alumni, my brother's Thelonious, K Casual, O Sneezy, F5, Mike Dawn, MT, the whole Childhood Alumni, like, movement, Harrisburg and Philly. We go in every day, we never stop. And shout out to one of my inspirations, ASAP Rocky, ASAP Mob all day. Profanity, English, sarcasm, real sh I am such a cocky kid. What I'm trying to convey is like, just be yourself. Because around that time when I just got started, I didn't know who I want to be at all. I didn't know who I was at all. Like, like around that time I was dealing with the fact that I'm bisexual, I'm not, a, I'm not ashamed because that's who I am. Like also my music as a message, you never be ashamed of who you are, whether you're black, white, Asian, Hispanic, like gay, straight, confused, like I never, you know, I had a hard time dealing with that. And so as I got older, I became more comfortable with myself. I said, you know what, 
this is who I am. I shouldn't have to change the way I dress, change my things of what I like, or change my flow or my music just for you to be my friend, or just for you to be a fan of my music. This is who I am. If you can't accept me, I'm sorry, but I'm, I am who I am. You know, only God can judge me. No, no sense can judge me. God can judge me no matter what. So the message I'm saying in my song is, and in my songs and my music, be yourself. Don't be afraid to be who you are. Stay true to you. Hit up my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Team Lady Shakes. Team Lady Shakes. Also, you can hit me up on Twitter, um, twitter.com slash Lady Shakes 90, L A D Y S H A K E S 90. You can also look me up on my YouTube page, youtube.com Jazzy Bane, B A I N. Or you can also look me up on SoundCloud, ReverbNation.com slash Lady Shakespeare. If you want to be somebody, you want to go somewhere, then honey, you need to wake up and pay attention.